Nobody wants to get united. Like, what we gotta do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. I had a conversation with somebody recently, and it brought the idea, it brought the thought into my mind that the rules of graffiti are changing, and they're changing extremely quick, and I don't believe it's all for the better. So in the comments down below, I'm definitely gonna want you guys' thoughts and opinions on this topic. Let's have a conversation about this. One of the key examples I can think of is it used to be pretty much necessary to steal paint, and if you didn't steal paint, it was considered a toy thing to do. I mean, hell, back when I started doing graffiti, I had to steal pretty much all of my paint back at that time. And even back when I was doing that, it wasn't considered toy if you bought your paint. So the rule already changed even back then. And that's one of those changes I think is a good thing. But like I said in the start of the video, I don't think all these changes are for the better. I had a conversation with a graffiti artist recently who I'm not going to mention out of respect for them, but they had the name of a graffiti legend. When they told me their name, and they said it with pride, knowing that it was a graffiti legend's name, I told them they should probably change their name because, once again, that goes against the rules of graffiti and that makes them a toy because they are knowingly disobeying the ethics of graffiti. So after saying that, I proposed and offered some help. I went ahead and gave them some recommendations. They had only been doing graffiti for a little bit of time and they swore it was a ton of experience. They claimed to be a professional graffiti artist, but even if they're getting paid for doing legal walls, they haven't been in graffiti long enough to even learn the fundamentals. Like having taught for 20 years, I can confidently say the amount of time it takes to learn the fundamentals is longer than the amount of time they've been in graffiti. So they're not at a professional skill level. But even then, they still wouldn't change their name. And that was extremely, extremely sad to see. Just blatant disregard for the rules of graffiti and blatant disrespect to those who came before. And to make it worse, the legendary graffiti artist is still very much active today. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure this graffiti artist is a really nice guy, right? I got no issue with the individual himself. It's just sad to see the rules of graffiti being completely disregarded by newer school graffiti artists. And that's what I want you guys' opinion on. What do you think about this? What do you think about the rules of graffiti changing? And what do you guys think about new school graffiti artists using old school legends' names? Or even new school legends? Now it's kind of inevitable. A lot of the old school New York legends are are starting to die off. Like Stay High 149 is The Wiz, just to name a few. And there's already coming a point where new school graffiti artists don't know their history in graffiti at all whatsoever, and as a result, they don't know some of the names of these graffiti legends. These graffiti legends are beginning to fade into obscurity, and people are beginning to forget about them. This, of course, causes new school graffiti artists to occasionally end up taking up the name of a graffiti legend. I don't think it should be acceptable to use the name of a living graffiti legend. I also really don't like the idea of using the name of a dead graffiti legend, but I just don't think there's anything we can do about that one, if I'm being 100% honest. But maybe it's because I started from, you know, learning the rules of graffiti and abiding by them so strictly that maybe I'm stuck in my ways and this is why I want you guys' opinion on it. But it's like, if you're going to do graffiti professionally and take commissions and do murals and make money from it, then the least you can do is abide by the ethics of graffiti and not blatantly disregard them. Because at that point, while yes, you are a graffiti artist, it's kind of like a hijacked version of graffiti. Something that was just taken for the monetary gain and not really appreciated for the art form and once again, the ethics that go along with doing this art form. There's no regard for the people that built this foundation. Instead, there's just only blatant disrespect and backhanding to those who came before. While you use that same very art form to fund your life. I don't know, seems a little bit scummy and disrespectful to me. But what do you guys think in the comments down below? Because, you know, th this topic is very opinion based, I feel. Like, I, I don't know if there's necessarily a right or a wrong. Because graffiti is factually changing. And with that, some of the rules change too. We've already seen that. And it's not any one person that decides these rules, it's us as a community that decides this. And that's kind of what, why I like, you know, making these YouTube videos online for you guys, because we get to talk and communicate together as a community in one place in order to kind of organize our thoughts and, and kind of express how it is we're feeling about this thing we love. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video, remember to hit the like button. It helps out a bunch. And if you're new here, feel free to join the Smartest Graffiti community anywhere online. I hope to catch you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Peace.